All right, what is going on, y'all? We back with another video, man. Today, we coming with my first 2K21 video of the year, man. I'm bringing y'all the best point guard build that I have made that I will be using this year on um, the best tall point guard. Now, before we get into it, man, as you know, make sure you like the video if you enjoy. You know, if you're gonna make a build like this, definitely hit that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you're new and let's hop right into this thing, man. All right, so obviously first things first, we're going point guard, you know what I'm saying? Handedness doesn't really matter. Um, I'm right-handed in real life, so I go right-handed. Jersey number, you know I gotta go with a 24. It is Kobe day and everything, but that's the number I wore um, when I used to play baseball. Uh, so we're going with the number 24, obviously that doesn't matter. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to this thing, man. So. You know, they got the new pie charts and everything, but I actually didn't go with any of the new pie charts. Um, none of them really, you know, did it for me. I just was not intrigued by it. But what I was intrigued by in order to make a tall point guard and make him effective is, let's see, this pie chart right here. The way I'm gonna have this build, man, it, it's goaded. Trust me, it's goaded. So, Let's go ahead and pick this pie chart and go into it, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, um, since you're a point guard, you wanna be the fastest. So we're gonna go with this first physical pie chart, man. So, all right. Now, let's go into the badge breakdown. The biggest thing for me this year is the fact that they do not have quick draw. So I feel like you can kind of get away with having less shooting badges, at least what we know at this stage in the game right now. So um, as far as finishing, we gonna max out that close shot, max out that driving layup, and max out that driving dunk. You know what I'm saying? We are going to max out our mid range, our three point, and our free throw. Twelve shooting badges is enough. Trust me. Now, as far as ball handle, you gonna want to max this out because you gotta make your player tall, and we make him tall, it makes the ball handle go down. So you're going to want to max that out. Pass accuracy as well, max it out. Then what you want to do is move your post moves up. Uh, where is it? Right here to 50. That's where you get 30 playmaking badges. You want them 30 playmaking badges if you're a pure playmaker. Trust me. Trust me. Now, obviously, since you're a point guard, you're going to be a man on the perimeter. So you're going to want to up that perimeter defense and lateral quickness. Still, I mean, we can go ahead and bump that up. You feel me? Um, I've kind of just had it at like a 76 so that when I hit 99, it'll be at an 80. So that's good. And you, when you max out your wingspan, or at least make it higher, you know what I'm saying, you get a higher steal. Um, block, we're not too worried about that right now. Defensive rebound, we're going to put that up. And then offensive rebound, I'll probably put it at like a 40 and then put the rest on block. So basically what we got right now is six finishing badges, 12 shooting. 30 playmaking and seven defensive badges, man. This is the setup that I'm running with. You know what I'm saying? This is the best one now. Um, body type doesn't really matter. Um, I usually like to have a bigger player because I feel like he has bigger hitboxes if he's bigger. So we are gonna go with, uh, I believe it's the built. This one right here, the built body shape now what I found so far do not make your player 6'8 don't do it do not make him 6'8 I'm sorry 6'8 point guards are going to be trash look at the drop off minus 10 to your driving a layup look how far your three goes down look how far your ball handle goes down pass accuracy look how far the defense goes down and the boosts just aren't good enough you feel me for um, what we got going on here. So what I found was best for me was making him 6'6". So we can go ahead and pick 6'6". You can go 6'7", um, if you want, but I chose 6'6". Give me one second, I'm about to turn off my notifications. Just give me one second. All right, so we back. Like I said, 6'6", six, six. you can go 6'7", if you want, um, but you're gonna have to make your wingspan smaller. So I went with 6'6", six, six, so I can have a larger wingspan. Um, 
obviously you're gonna, gonna wanna go with the lowest weight so you can be the fastest. As you can see, 93 speed, that's still pretty good. You know, at 99, um, and with Gym Rat, you know what I'm saying, you're gonna have very high speed, and that's what you want out of your point guard. So we're gonna go 180, wingspan. Now, for me, uh, last year I could shoot with a pretty low three-pointer. What I found in the demo so far is that it's kind of hard to shoot with a low three-pointer. So for now, I'm going to go with max wingspan. That feels like the best option for me right now, so that I can play defense well. Um, I'm assuming we're gonna be able to shoot, you know, with a 71, because usually every year it's like that. Uh, so, max wingspan, that's definitely the move for sure. Um, you'll definitely still be able to hit threes, trust me. All right, so now, obviously, we had what was the ball handle. Ball handle's 88, so, Usually last year, what I would do was pick playmaking takeover if I wasn't, if I didn't have a high enough, you know what I'm saying, ball handles to speed boost, because you get that plus 10. But for this build, what we're gonna do is go with slashing takeover. You get that plus 10 to your driving dunk, plus 10 to your layup, your close shot, all that stuff. So that is the move, the slashing takeover. So go ahead and do that and make the build complete, you feel me? And it should be a slashing playmaker. Yep. Um, shades of Jamal Murray, John Morant, and Stephen Curry. I don't really know how that's Stephen Curry because I really don't see view him as a slashing playmaker. That's besides the point. But yeah, that's the build. Let's go ahead and hop into these badges, man. And I do apologize for the screen shaking. I don't really know how to fix that. Um, hopefully, I can fix it for the other one. But yeah, let's get into these badges, man. So, you know, badges, it's up to you. Um, this is just the badge that I'm gonna have set up. So I'm saying you can copy mine You can you know kind of adapt it based on what I'm telling you, but for me, this is my badge setup. So for me I'm gonna go with gold contact finisher and we're gonna go with gold giant slayer um, When I used slashers last year that was the two those were the two main badges I needed with like a small guard I mean obviously it's not that small, but you know, you're gonna be going down the paint with big so you're gonna need giant slayer contact finisher as well no finish their contact you feel me all right shooting badges so we don't have quick draw no more so you know you have a little bit more wiggle room now so i'm going gold range extender gold hot zone hunter gold green machine and gold dead eye you know what i'm saying we go with that little diamond right there you know what i'm saying and that is the move for right now with the shooting badges all right, playmaking badges. Now you have 30, so you can really do whatever you want with this. For me, Hall of Fame Ankle Breaker, obviously. Um, I may put a little bit on Bailout, but I'm not sure yet. Um, I'm not gonna put anything on Dimer, cause I mean, I'm just using my knowledge from last year. If you're just not hitting your shots, you're just not hitting your shots. And Dimer may become important, you know, that may be the meta, but for now, I'm not gonna put it down wrong for right now. So. Obviously, you're going to put your handles for days up. You're going to definitely put up this Hall of Fame quick first step. Quick first step in the demo, from what I've seen so far, man, it's, it's cheesy. It's straight cheesy. Um, space Creator, all the way up. Unpluckable, all the way up, for sure. Now, you still got 10 upgrades left, you feel me? So, you can kind of put these wherever you want. For me, I'm going tight handles, all the way up. Um, I'm going to put Floor General, all the way up, you know, give people the boost. And yeah, we're gonna go with bailout. Um, I'm gonna put silver bailout on, you know what I'm saying? I don't really have anywhere else to put it, in my opinion. So, yeah, you're gonna be able to throw the lob, so you don't need lob to the passer, and all the other badges, not really that important for me. So, yeah. All right, defensive badges, you know what I'm saying? These, um, you're definitely gonna need clamps. I like having clamps all the way up. Um, I like having my intimidator about on silver, so that I can have bronze chase down artist and bronze interceptor um chase down artist is gonna give you you know what i'm saying it's gonna lock them chase down artist blocks you know you can chase people down um you're not really probably gonna be blocking people where you're in front of them so chase down artist is definitely more useful than like regular rim protector i really don't see rim protector being useful for like bigs and interceptor is gonna get you in the passing lanes you gonna get them steals you know what i'm saying you gonna get right on defense even though you're not a defender you know you're a pure playmaker but that's definitely the wave so yeah um you know what i'm saying you can choose whatever jumper you want um i've been using levine i'm still trying to get used to it 
Um, you know what I'm saying? You know, when I upload this, you know, definitely let me know if y'all trying to see like gameplay of this player. But I mean, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. You know what I'm saying? Let me know down in the comment section. You know what I'm saying? Is this build goaded? You know what I'm saying? To me, it's goaded. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's definitely probably one of my favorite builds I've made so far. Um, I made this and then I made a paint beast that was really good. So if y'all wanna see that video, uh, again, let me know down in the comment box below. Um, but yeah, make sure you like the video if you enjoy. You know what I'm saying? We definitely going up this year with this 2K content. This is gonna be the first video of many. That being said, man, that's that's all I got for y'all. So, yeah, we out this thing, bro. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.